We've been with Jesus for some time, listening and learning as we witnessed his miracles. We talked amongst ourselves as we tried to make sense of it all, and we prayed. But we all had our own ideas about how we should pray. We'd seen the Pharisees making a show of their prayer and thanking God for making them different to the sinners who came into the temple to confess their sins. And we'd seen what Jesus thought of them and how he dismissed them and called them hypocrites. We each thought we knew best and that our time in prayer was more precious to God than that of our fellows. Then one day he put us right wanting to settle the matter, once and for all. One of our group asked Jesus how we should pray, and so he gave us these words. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We sat and listened at the simplicity of his words. Was this all we needed to say when we come before the Lord? I committed his words to memory and pondered over them. Our Father in heaven, so we can call God our Father leaving us in no doubt that we are the children of God, in family union with Jesus himself. I found this so comforting, knowing that I belong to God and that he will, be, he will hear me as a father hears his child. But the words remind us too that although he is with us, our father's kingdom is not an earthly kingdom and that he abides in heaven where he waits for us to join him. Hallowed be your name. Lest we should get too familiar, a reminder that God's name is to be hallowed, to be revered and praised. Let us never use his name in vain. Your kingdom come. Lord, you have placed me here on earth and sometimes I feel far from you. But I know that one day you will reveal yourself and as you unite heaven and earth in your glory, when sin will be no more and pain and suffering will be gone. Your will be done. A reminder that we are asked to ask always for things that, we, for things that will please God. Jesus told us to ask and it will be given, that God will supply out all our needs, though maybe not our wants. Help us, Lord, to ask only for what is right, for what pleases you. Help us to submit your will, for you know what is best for us, more than we know ourselves. Oh Lord, let me trust you always. On earth as in heaven, Father, you are Lord of all, of both heaven and earth. May your will be done here on earth as in your heavenly kingdom. And may I seek always to do your will. Give us today our daily bread. I know, Lord, that you know my physical needs as well as my spiritual needs and that you will supply them as long as I put my trust in you. Help me, Lord, to be more trusting, to rely on you, and to recognise my need of you always. Forgive us our sins. Jesus spoke often about forgiveness, and he demonstrated in it his miracles too. When the paralytic man was brought by his friends and lowered down the roof of a house where he was teaching, the first thing Jesus said was, friend, your sins are forgiven, not get up and walk. We had all been puzzled by this, but it shows that Jesus is concerned with the healing of souls as well as bodies, 
Forgiveness is an essential part of our relationship with the Father. And we need to be made right with him. As we forgive those who sin against us. Now that's the hard bit. We rely on God to forgive us when we fail. And when we mess up. And when we downright go against his word. But Jesus makes it clear again. Jesus makes it clear that we too must be in the business of forgiving. We have to learn to treat others as we would want God to treat us. I said it was a tricky one, this, but one which we have to keep working on. If we give up, why should God not give up on us? Lead us not into temptation. We need a guide and what better guide could there be than the Father himself? Left to our own devices, we wander, we lose our way and we are enticed by Satan. Lord, may you be my guide for living always. Lead me in your ways and let me not stray. But when I stumble and fall, will you be there to pick me up and keep me on the path which leads only to you? But deliver us from evil. The world is a dangerous place and all manner of evil lurks. Satan desires us and we are easily led, but Lord, in your strength, may I resist all evil and know that my place in your kingdom is assured. So all our needs are covered in these simple words. Jesus knew what he was saying. He knew that we needed straight talking words. And he taught us all in what we need to know about coming into God in prayer. Thank you, Jesus.